do that one quickly because I wanted to get to our tech corner, which Dirk has for us right now. This is a good one uh, that we had from, uh, from an organization by the name of uh, RF Labs, and, and this, uh, I'm sorry, RF System Lab right there, as you can see. It's the VJ Advance Boroscope, and Dirk has uh, been practicing all week to do this one for you. <laughs> so he's here with you now to Morning. show you all that. <laughs> all right, well thanks Mike. Uh, yeah, as, as Mike said, this is, a, this is the VJ ADV video Borescope from RF System Lab. Uh, you know, we've had, we've had uh, Borescopes, uh, hold on a second here, I gotta see my own, my own little monitor here. Oh well. Um, we've had Borescopes on, on, uh, uh, on the show before. Uh, basically you got a little handheld device right here, and you've got the insertion tube. And I want to talk about uh, some of the things that makes this one a little bit unique. Um, first of all, kind of uh, the market for this, for this particular device, by the way, this is very, very lightweight, uh, is basically the aviation industry. Um, uh, according to our system lab, most of their business, at least for this particular model, um, is people doing inspections on um, aircraft engine, particularly uh, business aircraft, also uh, automotive industry, a certain uh, amount in the oil and gas industry, law enforcement, that sort of stuff. So let's kind of go through the basics of what we've got here. First of all, the business part of it is the insertion tube. This is what they call the insertion tube uh, with the, uh, the VJADV video bore scope. These come in three different, uh, three different diameters. The one I happen to have here is our largest diameter. This is a 6.9 millimeter, comes in one and a half, uh, what, one and a half, three meter, and five meter lengths. Their most popular size is the 3.9 millimeter model. This is the one that use, gets used in aviation quite a bit, one and a half and three meters. But the one that's really surprising is the, um, is the one that um, is 2.8 millimeters in diameter. Now, 2.8 millimeters is about a ninth of an inch. It is the smallest fully articulated uh, insertion, uh, insertion tube um, uh, in the world. And if you think about it, uh, by the way, the way these work, if we can go to the gauge cam right here, and hold on one second, I've got to turn on my, something happened on my monitor right here. Uh, hold on a second one, guys, I've got to see what I'm doing, so I'm just going to step out of the camera here a little bit so I can, all right, there we go. Sorry about that. Okay, so I mentioned that this is a, the, the, the 2.8 millimeter is the fully articulated, uh, all of these are fully articulated insertion tubes. So what we mean is that when you're controlling one of these, you've got this little joystick right here that allows you to move the, allows you to move the tip around. Very often, uh, these are controlled using, uh, using servos. Uh, in this case, it is a direct mechanical linkage. So if you think about a 2.8 millimeter uh, diameter insertion tube, all the linkage still has to fit within that 2.8 millimeter along with the optics and everything, so it's pretty amazing that they can do something like that. Uh, the insertion tube is 100% waterproof, uh, immersible, uh, oil and, uh, oil and um, fuel resistant. Uh, the handheld part of this itself is uh, water uh, water resistant but not waterproof, so something to keep in mind. So let's kind of just step through the interface here a little bit. If we, look at, uh, if we look at the interface, we've got two buttons on the back side. One of these controls the brightness of the LED. One of them controls video on and off. We'll get to that a little bit. Very simple touch panel uh, control and a little flip-up flip screen. There's also a hood that can go over this if you're outside and you need to kind of block the light a little bit. And let's go ahead and take a measure or, or do a, some inspection. Now, obviously, um, I don't have anything that requires a one meter probe, but um, I do have a little device here that we can stick a probe into. And let me just steer the tip to where I want to look at, and I believe I'm looking at right there. I can control the brightness of the LED. Let me get that where we need a little bit too bright. There, that should do it. And now you can see you're looking at a video image of the inside of this mechanical part, and you can see that getting a very nice image out of that. Now suppose I wanted to record that. I could hit the record button with my thumb, it was right over here on the left hand side, and now we're recording this image. And now I can record this when I'm done recording. Oh, by the way, while I'm recording, um, there's also a microphone setup where you can wear a little headset plug it into the, uh, the video borescope and actually annotate while you're recording. Very useful. So you might have, if we can go back to the main camera here, you might have a situation where you're holding the, you're holding the, the, uh, the borescope, 
with your, uh, your right hand. Maybe you're holding the insertion tube with your left and kind of working it into something and your hands are full. So now you can actually talk while you're taking video and, he, and your hands aren't free to take notes or anything like that. So that is actually a very useful thing. Once you're done taking pictures, video, by the way, you can also take still pictures, a little trigger on the side there, let's say take still pictures, still or video. Once you're done, you take out the micro SD card, uh, you put in a little adapter that RF system sends with the unit, plug that into your computer, and you can offload your stills or your video into your laptop. Also, uh, you can connect this directly to another monitor if you need to look at something other than this screen, or you can take a USB cable, run it into a laptop, and be able to uh, monitor live video via your laptop as well. A couple other things. Uh, we've got a temperature probe here, so I can, if we go to the screen, uh, if we go to our screen share, you can see I can look at the uh, tip of the probe or turn that off. We can also, um, oh, before we wrap up, the last thing I want to do, double A batteries. This is something, it seems interesting. Everybody's using uh, like, you know, nickel metal hydride or uh, lithium ion batteries and all their devices because they're lightweight, they last a long time. The problem is that if you're out in the field and you haven't charged your battery, you're, you've run it down, now what do you have to do? You have to go somewhere you can charge your battery. How nice is it to be able to go to your local Quickie Mart and buy a couple of AA batteries or a service station, buy a couple of AA batteries, put them back in the equipment, and you're good to go. This was actually a conscious decide, uh, design decision by RF System Lab to make it use AA batteries so that their guys out in the field who are using this aren't caught short when their bespoke batteries go dead. They don't have to recharge them. So the cost of this is about 9300 to $13,500 depending on the type of insertion tube, the diameter and the length of the insertion tube that you use. So uh, 9300 to $13,500. Uh, again, this is the VJ ADV video borescope from RF System Lab. And uh, thanks guys for sending that to us. By the way, like I said, did I mention really light? I was really surprised at holding this thing. So thanks guys for sending this to us. And Mike, back to you. Well, there you have it, the VJADV video scope from RF System Lab. Uh, another great tech corner there from Dirk. Thank you to RF System Lab for sending that along. And uh, Dirk, I think what you said was that way it was lightweight, if I got that. It yes, was it was like, I, I've, I've, had, I've used borescopes before, uh -huh. and the thing that was really crazy is this thing doesn't weigh anything. Yeah, yeah. And it's, you know, it's, that's important. Like, yeah. Very often you'll use a setting down as, as we had over there, but sometimes, depending where you're at, you need to be holding mm -hmm. these. And you got your finger in a trigger and all that. Sure. And you, you know, it's just it's just nice. Every, any, any way you can take off of it. Yeah, every video. pound counts. So yep. good stuff there. Thank you. Thank you, our system lab for sending that along. Okay.